Hello and welcome to my unbagging and review of the Citadel painting mat. Um, I wanted a mat uh, to put down and to paint models on uh, when I'm not building, sawing, chopping, clipping, cutting, whatever models. Um, the cutting mat is great, but um, I'm going to be changing my cutting mat and having it just for uh, sort of preparing models, no painting or anything like that. And I wanted a separate thing to have uh, just for the, the painting side of things. So I've got one of these Citadel painting mats. It will actually cost you a whopping 15 pounds. So it's a lot of money. It's uh, probably the most expensive thing uh, I've bought from Citadel for, for a while. But, um, and it really likes this uh, wrapper. I think it's made in China. Made in China. It's got this sticker on the back that is probably not worth peeling off because that's going to leave horrible mark. So might as well just leave that on. Um, probably ruin your table as well. Uh, and here we go. Uh, it's got these on it, which I suppose you could hang it up maybe when you're finished, or maybe it's just for a, you know, uh, hang up in the shops on on racks or something like that. But um, yeah, it's quite. It's quite non-slip. I like this kind of, I say embossed um, cutout of Citadel. Uh, maybe it didn't need it. Maybe it just needed it to be black and have a little Citadel, less is more kind of thing rather than a big splatter. But uh, it is what it is. And um, you got these parts, which uh, I'm not sure whether you can fit a uh, pallet in there. Possibly. Um, you can certainly fit, yeah, you can fit a painting pot there. And there, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, you can put some some models on. So there you go. That's probably my little size comparison as well. Compare it to a, a typhus. There we go. That's the size of a typhus to the painting mat. So yeah, fifteen pounds. Yeah, it's quite non-slip actually. Yeah, this will be great. Feels really nice, really nice and smooth, especially after you paint your model. And then the only sort of downside of this is, you know, if you're painting bases and you get a little bit of excess on the base and you put it down and it leaves a mark, but I just hope it's sort of, you know, wash, washable in a way, you know, you can just wipe it down because um, I wouldn't want one of these to sort of get spoiled. I know I want to use it, but yeah, I think it's quite decent. Definitely makes an impact. Yeah, feels nice as well just to sort of rest on and, and sort of paint. So. Uh, yeah, when I'm painting, I'll be I'll be painting on this mat from now on. That's it. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about this uh, mat. If you've got any questions, put it down below. Like the water pot, not really much uh, much else I can talk about the mat. If you've got one, please do uh, write down your experiences in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor protects.